so from the previous class we are having any doubts guys yes so please respond please give your response with yes or no right so i will start the class now no sir i don't have any okay so venkat like it is your first class or you are uh, attending from the three classes hi sir uh, myself venkat this is my first class sir okay okay so can i know your experience please so basic uh, can you give your self introduction please yeah myself venkat navin present i am uh, currently i am working with uh, some seed uh, seed industry company okay so i am looking to change my industry that's why i joined here sir okay so how many years of experience you are having uh, i have the eight years experience sir eight years of experience in which domain Uh, in uh, seed industry, seed industry. Which industry? Seed, seed, agriculture industry. I am uh, MBA post graduate. So actually, we have completed our. Uh, okay, okay, it's a good only. So actually, we have completed our demo sections in the previously three classes. We have completed. Okay, sir. So today onwards, we are going to start the first class about of the ITGC. Okay, sir. So I tomorrow onwards, we will start the demo class. Okay. So regarding that internal auditing, external auditing. Okay. So you are interested to join? Yes, sir. I am. I am interested. Okay, okay. I think so. For the uh, like from the tomorrow onwards, like uh, we'll uh, institute uh, will be asking you for the registration amount. Okay, I will discuss with them after the completion of this class, sir. Okay, so uh, you'll be joining compulsory, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. Thank you. So remaining three people, you have paid the money, guys. Yes, sir. 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 so today we will be going to discuss about of the basic terms and uh, next we will be entering into the itgc part guys so before to that so here what is a risk and what is a control what is vulnerability what is threat okay so the first thing we will be taking one example guys on the real time example or the one real time scenario what is a risk so suppose hub take the atm mission okay when we have taking the atm mission so when we have placed where the atm missions will be placed guys so it will be in the cities or the main road or the centers the atm missions will be placing so but what we are doing now is we will be keeping our atm mission in the village okay the first thing when we are keeping in the village it is the risk why it is why i am saying it is a risk so in the village like only the 200 houses uh, like 200 people or the 400 people will be there it is a small village we are placing our atm mission in that location the first risk is location okay so why i am saying location is a risk when we have kept the money so who will be taking the money we don't know suppose they will break the mission they will do unnecessary things to that mission on that time the location is only at risk next to stop that risk we want to place the control what control we want to place there we want to place security guard or cc cameras or anything like 24 by 7 surveillance we want to required for this atm mission that the control we want to keep for that 
okay so that we are knowing it as a control what are the controls cc camera or the security guard or the other things that we will be saying it as a control next vulnerability vulnerability is a nothing but a weakness in the system okay so vulnerability here when we are placing in the atm mission weakness in the system is location is the weak so we will be saying location is the vulnerability in our system in our atm mission the location is the weakness point so that's why we are saying that vulnerability what is threat something which exploits the vulnerability when the system is weak only the threat will be happening threat is nothing but in the real time theft theft will be happening for that atm mission so for the first thing weakness should not be occurred in any system like you want to be think in your application wise guys so now we are doing the auditing for the applications like you want to understand for the application purpose the first thing you want to understand about the application we are having one application that is a atm mission we have placed in the different location that is a comparing to outside of the city so that is a risk weakness is also location and where we are placing and we are getting the risk that is one thing risk so when there is a risk they will be easily happening the threat will be occurring threat is nothing but there is a weakness in the system so threat will be occurring so this is the one thing for these three things what we want to how we want to control for which things how we want to control if you have keep on the security guard and the cc security or the 24 by 7 surveillance will be happening means on that time the some of the risk will be controlling like almost 95 percent of the risk will be getting controlled only five percent of the risk so this is the basic terminology guys so anyone in the class not get understood so these are the four things we will be going to read all the things with the comparing with these four things and we will be implementing the controls to the applications in the future coming classes these are the four basic terminology we want to get understood correctly so if anyone not understood i will take another example and i will say the so you mean uh, the risk and vulnerability is both are same sir a uh, risk and vulnerabilities are not both are the same what i am saying means vulnerability is a nothing but it is a weakness where we are keeping so where we are placing something it is a weakness suppose risk when will be occurring we have kept our atm mission in the different location the first thing weakness it was get it and the risk location is the main risk for us for that risk we are giving the control correct correct so i mean uh... So yeah, yeah, the main thing is the location. So location is the risk. So the, so the same location we are considering as the vulnerability also. Is it correct my understanding? Yes, so, yes, it is correct for your understanding. But you hmm. want to think in the system wise. What system we are placing? <laughs> we are placing the ATM system. For which thing risk was happening for that system only, right? Yeah. Okay. See, suppose like you can take another example. your house door okay it is a main door of your house you have forgot mm. your lock in the door at the one night mm. what is a weakness you did not lock the door it is a weakness first of all what the risk will be getting there when any thieves will be entering into your home they will be searching your bedrooms or the some things for lockers or the anything so they, that is a main risk main risk yeah okay for Got this it. control when you can lock the door it will be becoming the control and theft will not be occurred yes so like this when you have entered into any it organization when you are doing auditing about any application so the first scenario you want to come to understood what is the risk for this application where is the weakness for this application for this weakness how we can mitigate mitigate is nothing but how we can control of this risk and weakness when you have control the weakness 
automatically risk will be getting increased uh, decreasing yeah so don't get confused so we are having the so many classes but try to understand of these scenarios like when i am saying about of the one real time scenario or the like lame example of this so particularly raise your question in your brain and try to understand as a auditor if it is a positive how it will be the negative if it is a negative how it will be the positive Yeah, sure, sir. So the next topic is guys ITGC. So as from the first day onwards, the who are from the demo sections are listening. So we are talking about the ITGC, ITGC. So from the first day we have discussed one the business practical scenario. After the business practical scenario, why IT organizations require the audit? We have discussed those things, and after that, by doing the audit also, auditors has collaborated with their companies and their organization. They are taking the money and they are doing their job and they are living. So, but the public people has losing their investment what they have invested in that organizations. So, on that times so of the U.S. government established the one SOX law. We have discussed about the SOX introduction. From that SOX introduction, we have discussed only the two sections. Section three not two and the section four not four three not two. It is a corporate responsibility. It is nothing but the signing of the reports. And SOX four not four. It is internal control wo wo financial reporting. It is IC wo FR. We will be speaking it as a IC wo FR internal control wo financial reporting. So we got the section. So we have one law with us that is the SOX law, and how we want to perform the IT audit in the IT organizations. So by using of this ITGC technology, we want to perform this audit. This is the basic thing, guys. Okay. So ITGC, Information Technology General Control, guys. So write down your notes like you have maintained in any laptop or you can open your notepad or textpad anything. So write down in your notes. ITGC Information Technology General Controls. So for the last two day 10 minutes, uh, we will be discussing about the uh, interview questions from first day onwards. What are the topics we have discussed? So here, what are IT general controls? IT general controls are the basic controls that can be applied to IT systems such as applications, operating systems, databases, and supporting IT infrastructure. So here you can say here, IT general controls, information technology general controls are the basic controls that can be applied systems is nothing but such as applications, operating systems, applications is nothing but SAP, Oracle. My, uh, there are lots of applications guys, operating systems, Windows, Linux, Unix, databases, cloud like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Platform, MySQL, uh, SAP HANA database, Oracle database and supporting IT infrastructure. IT infrastructure is nothing but supporting is like network will be supporting system team will be supporting. There will be the so many infrastructures 
will be supporting. This is the one basic definitions controls where we are applying for the IT systems where we are applying. So these for these four things we are applying. And the next information technology general controls can be defined as a internal controls that assure secure, stable, reliable performance of computer hardware, software, and IT personnel connected to financial or other systems. So here, what is in the, these are the, both are the same definitions guys. Like what you can say, it is a flexible to you, but I am explaining the two definitions for the understanding. So secure, secure is nothing but when we are using one laptop, it's a personal laptop or office system. We are using that user ID and the password for us. Okay. When we want to open any company laptop, so we are having that user and user ID and the password that is a secure stable stable is nothing but when we are doing the some work now if your guys are listening to the class suddenly the network issue will be happening so like that it will be happening for the five to ten days you will be getting irritated what is this so you will be complying to the institute so on that time you, when you are listening to the classes also it will be getting bored to you so there is no stable in the classes so it is alternately happening. What is this issue? Can you resolve this issue? You will be complaining to the Institute. So this is the stable example and reliable performance of computer hardware software. So performance of computer hardware and the software is nothing but on which software we are working. Suppose you have joined, you have taken the zoom link and you have joined within the five minutes, but it is a taking like 15 to 20 minutes. So it is a waste of your time. So what you will think you will choose another institute. So this is institute like this only it is getting lagged and a slowly process. So there is no performance on this institute. So it is a reliable performance of computer hardware software and IT personnel connected to financial or other systems. IT personnel is nothing but guys IT persons information technology persons. So when we have joined any IT organizations, they will be the one team admin team. We will be calling us. Yes. So suppose uh, for uh, taking the laptops or any help desk, help desk is nothing but to resolving our issues in that organization. So there will be the IT persons will be there. So we will be checking those persons also how we will be checking. We will be coming to know in the future. So this is the basic definition of the ITGC guys. Anyone in the class having a doubt about this ITGC definition. So once you get understood of this ITGC definition only next, when we are going to the controls also, you will be getting more clarity on this. What is ITGC with this ITGC, what we are going to do. So if you guys are in silent, I can take it as a yes. Yes, sir. So the next objective, the main objective of the ITGC or to ensure the integrity of the data and process that other system support the most common ITGC as the follows. So these are the four controls guys. We are discussing about these are the four controls. So previously 
before 10 minutes we have discussed about what is the risk what is the control what is vulnerability what is the threat these are the basic terms terminology we have discussed okay so when we are doing it audit for the it organizations so from the first class onwards you are getting confusion so how we will be getting to how we will be doing the audit for the it organization for which things we want to do the audit so for which things means we want to do the audit applications operating systems databases and the supporting it infrastructure when we are doing audit about the for these four things what we are going to implement for the these four things what controls we are going to implement for this so these are the four controls we are going to implement for these four things for the applications access management for the applications change management for the applications incident management for the applications computer operations or it operations so these are the four things we will be using it is our future guys when you have selected of the it audit domain these are the four controls you will be working in the future also in these four controls only we are having like total 21 to 22 controls so these are the four domains in the itgc under these four domains we are having totally 22 controls with these 22 controls we are applying we are implementing this control to all applications in the it organizations here yeah, domain and control are same sir see like domain and the control are the same and the access management change management incident management computer operations we are calling it as a domain and we are calling it as as a control also it is the same only but when preferably any interviewer asks is what is the domain you have worked means you want to say these are the four domains we have worked in the itgc under the access management they will be the some controls okay sir one more question so the controls whatever you are applying so we can we can apply only to the it or some other industry also so like for example manufacturing and uh, some other real estate yes. or something like yes yes yeah. sir. see like the first thing you want to understand the basic stuff here here okay. i am saying from the 5 minutes applications in the manufacturing industry mm -hmm. you will be using applications right yeah, some application might be there. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yes. So for those applications only, we are implementing these controls. Yeah. yeah. Operating systems is nothing but when we are using applications, when we are using the laptops or any PCs also, there will be the Windows and the Linux operating systems. Mm. Databases. Databases is nothing but when we are having the applications, when we have worked on that applications, the data want to be saved in the some database. Yeah. Yes. For database, we are implementing those controls and supporting IT infrastructure. Supporting IT infrastructure is nothing but when we are connecting to our organization, we will be happy having of a VPN and the network. When we want to connect so to our mean, organization, yes. Yeah, you mean irrespective of the industry, wherever you have the applications, all these things, there we can apply the, these controls. Yes. That's it. Yeah, got it. Yeah, you can proceed, sir. Yeah. Yes, thank you. The first access management control, guys. So we will be discussing about the access management. So here, the risk is that unauthorized access to data may result in the destruction or change of data, either malicious or accidental. This could include the recording of inaccurate or fraudulent transaction the objective is to implement access control through restrict access to specific programs and data to only those two who authorize it to, to do so. So here, how many people are working in IT organization, guys? Yeah, 
not only it organizations particularly any uh, any industry so i am in it sir okay uh, uh you are a rashid right guys you are rashid right so in the it so when we are working for any one organization so we will be having the access card one thing okay so when we are having uh, we want to have the id card when we want to enter into our organization so for that access card who will be selecting for that organization who will be working for that organization only those people will be having the access card or id card or the something okay like that it is a normal basic example guys i am saying it is a access management control where we are using suppose uh, rashid will be uh, rashid will be working in a infosys in the infosys he is the employee rohan is not a employee for the infosys he is a employee of the wipro when rohan is working uh, entering into the infosys when he have tap the access card in that uh, infosys organization it should not be open guys why it should not be open only authorized person should be enter into that organization okay if Ro rohan had tapped that uh, access card in that infosys it is automatically open there is a risk okay what risk will be happening rohan will be directly going to into that office he will be look at, uh, looking into the all locations if he got any something important information like uh, what are the new projects are developing in their company what are some things if he got he will take the photos and he will come out so this is not a scenario it should not be happened it is not a good thing how we want to control here control is nothing but so like they will be keeping up uh, one security guard when we are uh, tapping the access card also so when anyone tap that access card there will be the system looking 24 by 7 monitoring who are the tapping and all the things will be logging so that the controls will be keeping there so like that we have joined one organization we have selected for the one domain that is a aws uh, yeah as a aws engineer for that as a AWS engineer, we want the user ID and the password to continue your work. How we will be proceeding for that work. So in this access management control, there are like eight to nine, eight to nine sub controls guys. So what is this first thing policies and provisions. So my screen is visible guys, like you can see the policies and processes. Yes. So the first thing in the four controls also access management or change management, incident management, computer or IT operations in these four controls, we are having this one sub control. It is a policies and procedures. In this policies and provisions, it is a document, guys. In this document, what they will be mentioning means what are the things we want to do in our organization that they will be mentioning. So when we have joined with the HR, uh, that offer letter with that offer letter, they will be mentioning the policies and provisions. When we uh, we want to get out uh, relief from the organization, you want to solve the notice period or you want to pay something amount or for the health insurance like that they have will be mentioning policies and projects like for the applications also they will be maintaining the policies and projects so this is the first control we want to check so we will be going deeper into the deeper in the coming classes for the basic thing we will be discussing about of the access management control and user access request user access request is a one control what is this user access request means so previously i have discussed 
okay so you have joined in your organization your experienced domain is aws you have into your team aws for requesting the user id what is the steps you want to follow in that organization if you want to log in into the aws you want to have user id and the password okay so before to that what is the process for getting user id and the password that is a control we are checking user access and request and next password requirements password requirements is nothing but for that application what is the password requirements every organization will be having the standard password parameters password parameters is nothing but when you have opened any website like IRCTC or any government websites you have open means. So it will be asking like small letter, capital letter, uh, any special character, use inverted commas like that. Those are the password parameters for every organization. They will be setting their password parameters. My password length will be the 10 maximum will be the 12 minimum will be the 10. So it will be based on the organizations. They will be setting their password parameters. So for the password requirements, we will be selecting. And the next is privileged users. Privileged users is nothing but admins guys. Admins. So privileged users, we will be discussing deeply into when we are looking into this control. Physical access. Physical access is nothing but in every organization, there will be the server rooms or any storage rooms will be there for that only the limited people will be having the access that we will be calling as the physical access. Next periodic access reviews and the privileged users. If I say now you people will be getting confused. So we will be discussing in the control when we have entered into the control segregation of duties. It is a one control guys. What is the segregation of duties means in the brief scenario. I am the admin for this class. I can share my screen. Other people, you can't share the screen. So it is a segregation of duties. Who are the students who are listening to the instructors? So for the students, they are having this few permissions to join, unmute yourself and speak and mute yourself. These are the responsibilities you are having. When coming to me, what responsibilities are you having? I can remove you. I can unmute you. Without my permission, you can't share the screen. These are the few responsibilities between you and me we are having. So this is the basic terminology of segregation of duties. Okay. So these are the controls we are applying to the applications. So when we have entered to the each control, we will be discussing about the each control and after that, we will be getting into the practical sections, guys. So before to the two weeks, we are having of the theoretical sections. After one week, we are having the practical sections on the what we have discussed about the practice in the theoretical section. So from this control. Who are having any doubts? So it is a basic control guys. We want to assume like now onwards, we want to start or we want to think as a auditors. What is the process? Any confusion, please let me know guys. So like don't mute yourself and don't think so there is a silly doubt that I am asking. No, please remove it in your mind. If it is a silly doubt also, I will directly uh, answer to you. So one thing, like, so all these uh, controls in, in any company, who is going to define? Is it uh, auditor or is it uh, like uh, any board of uh, members? Uh, there will be the one team. Dominance team will be there. In every company, there will be the governing team will be there. They will be monitoring all the things. So they will be taking, they will be implementing the controls to their organizations. 
so for those control these are the same controls they will be implementing but they will be using of the different frameworks like we have discussed in the demo class like uh, uh, also on the covid frameworks we will be going to explain so from the course on the covid also same thing these are the controls has came from the course on the covid frameworks like iso is there one it is a framework it is international standard organization from that they will be deriving the controls same controls only so the team the governing team will be there and when we have entered into that client so it will be rotating guys okay rotating means you mean modifying or something uh rotating means from there to our like uh, we will be doing the auditing for those controls like why i am saying means when we have entered into the health industry we don't know what controls we want to apply these are the basic controls we have learned so there will be the some other different controls for their organization they will be setting okay got it and one more thing like uh, for example if uh, a new auditor went to, uh, entered into the company Okay. So, how will you come to know that? Uh, what are the controls are there uh, in that company? So, are they maintaining the, the company is maintaining all these controls in any database or in any framework? Sorry, uh, can you repeat your question once again? For example, if I am the new uh, auditor, I went to in a particular company. Okay. Okay. And how will I yeah, how will I come to know that? Uh, what are the controls which are following in the, in this company? so is there anything uh, i mean the company will maintain all these controls in any framework or in any database somewhere to see those controls yes yes see, see like what i am saying means see uh, will, uh, so you are asking that how the how auditors will be know when we have uh, entered into that organization exactly yeah mm. so like i have said right there is a one governing team and there will be the one internal audit team also Mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. if you have taken one organization how it will be working means so there will be the one corporate team that is a higher management they will be reporting all the issues to the higher management like ceo and the cfo something they will be the higher uh, employees will be there so under the higher uh, below the higher employees they will be the corporate of the government team will be having so what this government team will be doing means based on our uh, regulation acts will be there Uh, like government uh, government will be deciding yearly once those act you want to follow those section you want to follow they will be submitting the mails to their organizations so they will be the teams what okay. this government what this governing team will be doing means they will be the uh, like uh, there are the departments like in the in that organization only audit and compliance or uh, um, internal audit teams will be having hmm okay so they will be passing the information to these internal audit team these internal audit team what they will be doing means by using those controls they will be valid, they will be doing the auditing hmm. okay so you have got one doubt here so why are the internal audit team required in the organization yeah so why means so why while there is a one internal audit team in the organization existing internal audit team in the organization again they will recruit the internal audit team from the other third party companies why the organization will be doing means when the external auditors will be coming so they will not trust their internal audit team in their organization <clears throat> so here what is the scenario means like this internal audit team will be support to the other third party internal auditors for us they will be supporting suppose you are working in the infosys you are the internal audit team in the infosys okay you are the part of internal audit team in the infosys rohan i am from the kpmg so i am the internal auditor first i will be connecting with you as i will be connecting with you directly the internal auditor will be connecting to the internal audit team yeah so the data we will be getting from the these teams yeah okay
Okay, got it, Ron. Yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, any doubts, guys? Yeah, Rohan. Uh, like, uh, yes. Uh, can I just uh, explain the difference between the source compliance and framework framework which you mentioned just now? Yes, like yes. Copy it and code. Like, yes. uh, like if uh, in socks in socks compliance, does they explain like ask us to follow the specific framework or? Like, how does this come into this picture? I'm not able to understand. See, in the song, they will, they will not ask any framework. You want to follow mm -hmm. these framework or any framework. Okay. It will be based on the organizations. They will be following. If it is a manufacturing industry, they will be following as the ISO controls. They will be using of ISO. It is international standard organization controls. In that ISO, international standard organization controls also, we will be getting ITGC controls only. Okay. But the names will be changing and the terminologies will be changing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So from the course on the COVID only, these are the controls for get implemented. Okay. They have extracted from the course on COVID frameworks only. Why course on COVID frameworks had came into the picture means before to that there is a part. So when any IT organization will be standing or they are starting their organization means they will be the ITIL framework. Information technology, infrastructure, library, limited something. There is a framework mm -hmm. for this. All IT organizations they will be using that ITIL. You can search in the Google. You will get the all the matters from the ITIL. Okay. You can see the these four things. What are the four domains? Access management, change management, <laughs> incident, computer operations, or IT operations. You will see that these four domains from the ITIL. Okay. okay. So there is a linkage link up. So from the course on the COVID frameworks is nothing but it is a auditing frameworks that we have designed for the standards we will be using. Okay. Next. Okay. Based on the course on COVID before to that, there is ITL framework by like that they are deriving. Okay. So, so uh, like from this COVID framework, these controls has been taken like this objective. Yes, yes. Like uh, access management and change management. Yes. Okay. So like uh, now how, for example, how would we know that whether this, like I, I still didn't get how SOX compliance is coming into this picture. Like framework I got, like these controls has been derived from the. You see, uh, SOX compliance yeah. has uh, into the picture means the first basics in uh, the basic thing you want to understand. So what we have discussed in the last two classes, so auditors will be doing the audit for the any organizations. Okay. okay. Auditing was there before to the SOX compliance or before to the SOX law, auditing was occurring. When auditing was occurring, so what the organizations is doing, they are uh, organization people is collaborating with the auditors. They are saying mm -hmm. that if there is any losses, so please build their losses with the profits when we are releasing okay. the report to the public. Okay. So if the public has seen the more profit rate, you will go to the like, you have kept for 20,000 for this year, you will get like 50,000. You will invest more than 50,000 right next year. Okay. Okay. So the public people is, uh, when the public people cheated, the government will not be sitting calm, right? They will be doing, uh, taking mm -hmm. some actions, right? Okay, okay, clear. So, like so, that, US government has established the SOX law under the SOX law, ITGC technology we are using to do the audit for the IT organizations. Okay, clear. So, basically, uh, to avoid fraud, fraud uh, fraudster between yes. the organization and auditor, this particular SOX complaint is implemented. Yes, not only for the auditors, for the public, for the yeah, uh, yeah. trusting organizations, okay. for all the peoples. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, clear, clear. So, institute persons will be sharing materials, I think, for you guys today. If not, like, uh, remember once in the group, they will share the materials to you. So, you can uh, go through the materials, you will understand for the previous classes. And there is a one demo material, you can open the demo material. 
when you have got the demo material, you can see the video. So there is a video why it is a risk and why IT GC and the why socks, all the things we can get it from there. So let's discuss the interview questions for the five minutes guys. Uh, like uh, all of uh, all of you are noting. Okay. So these are the basic questions, guys. So I think you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Because so up, up to now, what we have discussed, so everything is important. Like when they will be asking any question, so you want to explain, you want to take one scenario as an example, and you want to explain like that. So like that, when you have explained, so you'll be selecting easily for this job. What is SOX? So before, what is SOX? We will be saying that it is a Sorbonne SOX Act. It was established in the 2002 under the President Bush uh, supporting movement. So it was established. Okay, that is a SOX. Before to the SOX also, what has happened? We want to explain to them. So that is a scenario. Why IT audit required for the IT organizations? We want to take one particular business example. We want to give the definition to the dem. So have you wrote these questions? Yeah, no problem. Yes. 
so all are all of you getting uh, try to understand or it is uh, still in the confusion clear sir asatma sir can you briefly uh, explain regarding uh, <clears throat> about the 3023040 sats okay so for the 302 and the 404 sats is nothing but in that sats club we are having all the two sections one is sats 302 and there is a sats 404 sats 302 is a mainly discussing about of the corporate responsibility corporate responsibility is a nothing but so who are the responsible for that organizations chief executive of ceos and the chief financial officers who will be the higher officials so they will be the responsibility for this organization that's why we are calling as a section 302 that is a corporate responsibility section 404 it will be discussing about internal control over financial report organization how we will be controlling internally the financial things that is a section 404 how we will be controlling internally financial means we will be taking itgc technology that we will be implementing the controls and we will be seeing that how what is getting controlled so we will be finally when we have done the audit we will be getting some findings that findings will be sharing to the team that external auditors the external auditors will be taking to the higher management when they have signing their report that we will be calling as a section 302 it is a corporate responsibility so this is the brief between the section 302 and the section 404 have you got it understood or uh, it is in the still confusion no uh, yeah little bit confusion i have <coughs> what confusion you are having sir so, for section 404 it means financial and uh, internal control you have to like it means internal audit auditors will do the internal auditing and uh, they will provide report to the external auditors yes okay based on that they will give a make the report and they will hand out to the authority yes okay Okay sir thank you